Oh, hey there. <laughs> What's up? It's me. I'm back. If you don't know me, hi. My name is Brooke. I used to use this channel about four years ago. Um, and I'm using it again. Hello to the 500 loyal people who have stayed with me. Welcome to my life now. It's severely progressed in the past four years. Um, my hair is currently green. I have a half sleeve. Um, I also have eight other tattoos and I have a septum and a nose piercing. So that's a little catch up on my life. So that's just a little rundown of everything that's happened in the past couple years. Anyways, today I um, went grocery shopping because I was out of things and all of my groceries are sitting by my door and I figured I should probably put them away. But I love watching grocery hauls because I'm like, hmm, what do other people eat? Um, so I'm gonna show you what I bought to eat. I'm still quarantining because I don't have to go back to work yet. So. I'm still at home cooking all of my meals and I enjoy cooking. So this is what I bought for the week. But first I gotta pick up these pieces of shit that I left over here. Okay. Oh wait, oh shit. Yep. Okay, here we go. Here we go, ignore the dirty dishes. I'm a slob. I'm not an actual slob, just a half slob. Oh shit, other things I bought are over here. Wait, I just realized these are Kroger bags, but I went to Ralph's. I go to Kroger when I'm in Texas at my parents' house, but when I'm home, I go to Ralph's. So this is a little confusing. Okay, so I also got a haircut today. So my hair is very short in comparison to what it was. That smells so good. I got some live basil. This you put on your countertop in like a little dish um, and have water in it and it'll keep growing basil for you. Got that. As far as like fresh produce goes, I got some cilantro, yellow onions. Yellow onions can literally be used for anything. Avocados, asparagus, and Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna put those all away. All of the groceries I got also are probably gonna last me about two weeks because I also already have a bunch of meat in the freezer. Freezer. I'm like nervous filming this, so just let me do my thing. Also serious question, do you put your avocados in the fridge? Because I don't, unless they're opened. I don't know what the proper thing is to do. Next, we got some chicken broth. I use it for chili and it's good to make um, chicken with. You make shredded chicken. I got four cans of these diced tomatoes. They come with basil, um, garlic, and oregano, so they're already seasoned. Um, I use those for chili as well. I fucking love chili. Chili is my shit. I got some queso fresco because I eat chilequiles. Chilequiles. I don't know. Whatever. Like every day. Lime juice. Um, there's these little packs of mozzarella. They come with like three little balls that are just good to snack on. Um, I got soy riso and chorizo because I wanted to make some like, I forget what they're called. Not like stir fry bowls, but like a chorizo like bowl with like veggies and things like that. So I got both of these, but also chorizo and eggs are really good. Um, Parmesan to make Alfredo sauce. And also two packs of bacon. One will go in the freezer, one will go in my fridge. Don't underestimate the power of freezing things because it makes things last long and you can have more. I got a little lobster tail and a little bit of filet to make myself a nice dinner because um, I have this bottle of wine that I want to drink, but I need reason to drink it. Like, I don't know. I realize I should leave everything out so I can take a picture, but I don't know where I would take a picture in my apartment with all of my groceries. I'm just gonna be like. Okay, I don't have anywhere to put these. <laughs> this is what's next.
rice cakes. These are really like the only snacks I eat other than um, applesauce. But I have a shit ton of applesauce right now, so I have these. I got the apple flavored ones that I found in the clearance section and then the cinnamon churro ones, just the generic brand because they're cheaper. Eggs. Spinach. Sour cream. Also, just a matter of fact, buy generic brand food. Unless it's something that like you know that you've tried and it's not the same, it will save you so much money in the long run if you're buying generic things. Like the Daisy brand versus just the Kroger brand is probably like a 50 cent difference or like a dollar difference. But if you're buying sour cream once every three weeks, that's like 50 bucks. No, 50 bucks. No, no, that's wrong. That's like $25 in a year. And what can buy $25 buy you? Two drinks at a bar. Also got peanut butter pretzels because my best friend comes over a lot and she likes eating these. So I keep things stocked in my house for her to eat when she's here because she's a picky eater. Okay, lastly, for sale bottle of wine. I uh, found this in the clearance section. It was $7. That goes with my other wines here. Okay, not going to go there for now. Turmeric, didn't have it. Paprika, also didn't have it. Heavy cream to make Alfredo sauce and tomato paste to make meat sauce. So I didn't get ground beef to make meat sauce and the ground beef I have, I'm gonna use to make chili. We'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, that's literally everything I got. This is kind of like a restock after running out of all of my fresh produce for the week. Um, so I stocked up on all of my fresh produce or any other ingredients that I ran out of. Um, staple items I always get are like cheese, and cheese. I really don't buy anything else. But this is just for me too. This one came out to $130. But I also have a pack of Trulies that are in my car that I need to go grab. Um, which were like 16 bucks themselves. So overall, not a bad thing. I don't think I'll be back to the grocery store for another two weeks or so. So this should last me a while. Okay, so I also figured since I'm doing a grocery haul, I want to do like a fridge tour and pantry tour. I saw my family do it, so shout out to you, girl. You're in my inspiration for this video. Um, so I'm going to do a freezer, fridge, and pantry tour along with um, the grocery haul that you saw. You already saw that, so. This is my fridge tour. This is my fridge. It's a classic white fridge. You get it in an apartment. Freezer. I have pizza uh, life hack. If you make too many pancakes, put them in the freezer and then you can toast them the next day in your toaster and they'll come out the same as they did before. Um, I have those two packs of bacon. I actually put both in here because I realized I have a package of sausage down here. I have brown rice packets. I have a bunch of chicken, shrimp, um, both of the chorizos, salmon, more chicken. And then I have ground beef here. Um, peach schnapps, sake, I think from a friend. Um, I don't eat these, I should throw them away actually. A little mini margarita for you know when you're in the mood. And then some snickerdoodle ice cream. And then my fridge, um, I have other Trulies that I need to go through first before I grab my other pack and put them in here. Um, but I need to organize everything. Cokes, um, Kirkland margarita, eggs. Um, I need to use those eggs first. This is my cheese drawer. Um, I have the mozzarella parmesan. I have more shredded mozzarella back there. I have some goat cheese and the queso fresco Mexican blend. If you couldn't tell, I love cheese. Um, this shelf is where I put all the fresh meats. Um, so I have the steak and the lobster, which I'll probably make tonight. Some chicken that I'm going to put in the crock pot overnight. Sausage, sour cream, um, tortillas, and my Brita filter. Some leftover jello shots from my friend's birthday party spinach this is some leftover stuffing from when i made chicken empanadas and then some potatoes and over here is the glory of everything buffalo pesto it's kind of an overview um pepperoncinis i eat these every day for a snack cream cheese syrup soy sauce um, i use basically all of these and then we have some more drinks down here salsa and coffee creamer i use those every day and then we have more drinks down here 
Half of those drinks in my fridge have been in there for literally months because I don't drink beer. I just have them for when people come over. Um, but otherwise, I use about everything in my fridge. I think I'm going to do some recipe videos because I enjoy cooking, but it's just kind of hard in my kitchen because it's so small. But yeah, that is what I got for groceries this week. And that is my fridge. Oh, pantry. I forgot about my pantry. My freaking pantry. Okay. This is where I keep all of my food. Um... Can I put this somewhere? Okay, so this is my pantry where I keep everything. Um, mainly the stuff I grab is on these two shelves. Um, I have more tortillas, because you know I'm Mexican. Um, beans, I have some top ramen, and there's some like refried beans in the back. All of my canned food is right here. Um, I have some black beans here, Cheez-Its, another pepperoni. Um, I have all my soups and nut butters right here. These are all of my snacks and then like items that I don't really use. So like, unless I'm baking, condensed milk, some Girl Scout cookies that I haven't eaten, and then an extra thing of salsa. So, and I keep my bread down here just because it doesn't fit in there, honestly. So yeah, that's my pantry of one person. I eat a lot of food. Um, but yes, that is the end of this video. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video or have any video suggestions that you would like me to make, please comment them down below. Um, subscribe if you're not already. Give this a thumbs up if you want to see videos from me in the future. I'll be making two a week, hopefully. So I'm going to be trying to do. And I'm going to leave a link to the Minnesota Freedom Fund down in the bio um, to donate if you have any extra money. Um, because there are some things going on right now in the world that we need to pay attention to and speak up. Um, if you have a platform at all or if you're just a decent human being, please stand up for Black Lives Matter um, as you should. But yeah, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm being repetitive, so I'm going to go bye.